It's a very challenging right. industry. Uh, you have to know it from the bottom up. You know, to come into it and be an investor because you, you like the vibe of a restaurant or you want it to be your private restaurant, typically 99% of the time it's a disaster. If you're a chef, if you're a front of the house person, you have wine knowledge, you have production knowledge, you need to have those skills. You can't just go to the street and hire. Right. Those people don't really exist. And uh, if you can't manage your own shop, really your, your ability to have success is going to be limited, limited to zero. Uh, but it can be a wonderful game. Right. Uh, if you do it right and do it well. Well, I, I love the food business because I started in the restaurant business. Now I'm in the food retail business, but I'm still feeding people. Whether it's catering, whether it's retail, whether it's the restaurant. You do it all. And I relate to them on, on different levels. Not right. just a high, a high expensive white tablecloth restaurant level, but here at Fabrica, uh, we make perfect Neapolitan pizza. And I'll show you. I'll show you my oven a little bit later. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. Yeah, but so you you sort of inject yourself into people's lives in thoughtful, meaningful ways that fit and aren't difficult for them to understand. And when people are thinking, I mean, I'm a great chef. I love it. There's still a very important business side to it, and real estate plays a key component to that as well. It's not just about cooking today. It's about the whole the whole game. It's a whole experience, isn't it? Well, from a from a business standpoint, you you have to have both sides of the equation. Uh, and if, you, you, you at least have to have one person in each spot. Ideally, that person knows both. Talk about uh, the importance of mentors. I mean, I know that there'll be many people that you'll credit that have been influential in what you've learned. Uh, we always talk about the fact that we learn from our mistakes. Uh, oh, yeah. We like to try and pass on as much information so we can minimize other people's mistakes. But how important is it to mentor or to learn from people that have truly made it work for them? Well, for, for me, I know what I know. So I'm very happy when someone else adds to the equation. So. I'm a quiet listener, very patient listener. Love to love to hear other people's stories and how they got through situations. Uh, mentoring is the most important thing. And again, in, in the commencement address yesterday, that's what I, I told these young upstarts. Find a mentor. Find a few mentors that you admire and work with and spend the next three years absorbing like a sponge. Learn the front door, learn the back door. Get a sense of scale, get a sense of space. It's not just about a specific recipe and a pretty plate, and a little bit of style here and an Instagram there. It's about understanding how it all works. And it takes a while and then all of a sudden you realize, wow, I, I actually know how that operation works. Right. Most valuable skill you have as, a, as, a, as a, a private business owner is to know front door to back door. Right. Yeah. So again, starting, as you said, from the ground up, understanding all workings, all aspects of a restaurant. If this is what you choose to do and it's your yeah. passion, you really got to take it but, seriously. But mentors are, are, are people that teach you good practice. Right. Good habits. Good habits. Yeah, good I agree. clean habits. But you know what? Most, most of the strongest characteristics you need in business are really simple. You need to be kind to people. You need to be motivational with people. You need to be thoughtful in terms of how you message. You need to be consistent in how you message. And you need to be exact. And there's no science to that. It's, it's pretty obvious Yeah, but I love right? how you put it. Yeah. yeah, see, so nice people, like you really should get ahead. It's an important thing. Yeah, you don't have just to be poke nice. people in the head be all nice, the time. Be nice, right? Yeah. Like, just smile. Yeah. It makes such a difference. And you always smile because, honestly, you love what you do. And that's key. You have to do something you love. I have a lot of fun. Yeah, and that's really opinion. important. So before we go and see this incredible oven of yours, which honestly, it's truly amazing and has a great story. Can we just remind people in terms of your books? You've got some books out there. Um, so, oh, Great Food at Home it was my first book. Uh, it was my favorite 100 recipes uh, that, that were meaningful. So some of them stretch back 25 years and some are relatively current. Fabrica is, is a representation when we opened the restaurant, we recipied every single dish we did and we did a book at exactly the same time. So we, we opened the restaurant and did a book and they, and they popped out at exactly the same moment. And they're so. so, so good. But let's head over and see that incredible oven. Yeah, it came all, all right. the way from Naples. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it. <laughs>
We, we tried to look at how to build a pizza perfectly, and there was no way to cheat it, so we brought it all over. And then I, I, took, I took my guys and I sent them to New York to work with Roberto. He's the grand master of Neapolitan pizza. He is the pizza man. And he beat them over the head for two weeks <laughs> until they were perfect, perfect at it. And lo and behold, we, uh, we brought it to, to Don Mill. And you have the perfect pizzas. They are, without a doubt, the best. I mean, you know when you're addicted to something because I, ha I can't go a week without having a pizza. Well, I love them. And, and I always tell them, it's the last 10 seconds that's the most important because some of the bubbles on the crust should burn. Then you ah, get that bit of carbon. Yeah. It's a flavor. It it's is. It's a sensation. And it, it's part of the whole experience. So we, we make everything in this section from, from sushi made by hand right on site. Everything on our hot counter is made upstairs and brought down. Everything in our case is made here.